वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 11-53 सो स्टेटमेंट इज द सिंपली सपोर्टेड जॉइस्ट इज यूज्ड इन द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ फ्लोर फॉर अ बिल्डिंग इन आर्डर टू कीप द फ्लोर विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सिल बीम सी एंड डी द एंड ऑफ जॉइस्ट आर नॉज्ड एज शोन इफ अलावेबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस फॉर वुड इज 350 फिफ्टी पी एस आई एंड अलावेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज सेवनटीन पी एस आई डिटरमाइन द स्मॉलेस्ट हाइट एच सो दैट बीम विल सपोर्ट द लोड ऑफ सिक्स पाउंड Also, will the entire joist safely support the load? Neglect the stress concentration at the at the notch. So you can see this is a simply supported joist, clear, and that are mounted on sill beam C and D, and there is a load of P which is equal to six hundred pound is applied. The allowable shearing stress and bending stress are given. So you have to find this height H so that it can safely support this. Load of six hundred pound, and then we will check whether the entire joist safely support the load or not. So let's start with the solution. So first step is that if you remove this sill beam at point A, so you'll be having a reaction force which is R A, and if you remove this support, so you'll be having a reaction force which is R B. So we can find R A and R B by using equation of equilibrium. So what are the equation of equilibrium? So first equation of equilibrium is sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise moment positive. So about point A, one moment is P into perpendicular distance is fifteen. That is clockwise, so it will be negative. So I will write minus P into fifteen. The other moment is due to this load, which is R B into perpendicular distance is thirty, and it is counterclockwise, so it will be positive. So plus thirty R B is equal to zero. So it means that R B thirty R B is equal to fifteen P, and um, R B is equal to P by two. So P is given as six hundred pounds. So six hundred divided by two will be equal to three hundred pounds. So we have R B is equal to three hundred pounds. Now you can find R A by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is positive. So R A minus P, which is six hundred. Plus three hundred, which is R B, is equal to zero. So it means that R A is also equal to three hundred pound. Clear? Now what we will do is that we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Okay. So for that, uh, I will draw the beam. So if this is the Sorry, if this is if this is the beam, okay. And there is a loading of P, which is equal to six hundred, and we have R A at this point three hundred, and R B at this point, which is also three hundred. This length is fifteen feet. And this length is also fifteen feet. So what we will do is that we will take vertical lines from the end of this beam, and then there is a horizontal line to show the x in feet. Here you will be having a shear force in pounds. So first point at point. A, you can see you have R A which is three hundred. So let this is one hundred, two hundred, three hundred pounds. This is one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, ten 
माइनस हंड्रेड माइनस टू हंड्रेड माइनस थ्री हंड्रेड सो योर फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज दिस वन नाउ मूविंग फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट टिल द मिड ऑफ दिस बीम देर इज नो अदर फोर्स सो इट विल remain horizontal now at here we have p is equal to minus 600 so 300 minus 600 will be minus 300 so shear force will change from 300 to minus 300 and again moving from this minus 300 to till the end of beam there is no other force so it will be same and at the end you have plus 300 which is will bring it to zero so this is your shear force now what about bending moment diagram so or bending moment diagram again i have to draw line which shows the moment uh, length in feet so it will be pounds into feet so let one division is equal to 1500 3000 4000 Four thousand five hundred. You can take as per your own. So first area under the shear force diagram is this area, clear? And moment at this point is zero because x is equal to zero. So this area under the shear force diagram is equal to three hundred into fifteen, which is equal to forty five hundred. And this is plus. So we will first locate forty five hundred. So forty five hundred will be somewhere here. Clear, and it will be a straight line, and slope will be increasing because this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree, and this area is positive, so it will be one degree higher, and slope will be increasing. Okay. This line will start from the origin. Okay. assume this is origin okay now the area under this shear force diagram is minus 300 into 15 which is equal to minus 4500 so 4500 minus 4500 will equal to 0 at this point and your bending moment will be like this so it will be like this it will be 0 so this is 4500 this is minus 300 now you have uh the value of uh, maximum absolute value of bending moment is 4500 pounds into feet so if you convert it to, into inch so it is 4500 pounds uh 4500 multiplied by 12 and unit will be pounds into inch and what will be the absolute maximum value of shear force so it will be you can see either 300 or minus 300 but it will be absolute value will be 300 pounds now we will find h we know that allowable shearing stress for rectangular section rectangular section is equal to 1.5 time shear force divided by area so if this is the rectangular cross section at this so this is the width 2 inch and this is the height which we are interested to find out here you can see here this is height and this is breadth clear so just put the value 1.5 times v is 300 pounds divided by area is 2 area of area will be equal to 2h so 2 into h and allowable shearing stress is 350 psi so when you solve this for h h will be equal to 1.5 multiplied by 300 Divide by two into three fifty, so you will get h is equal to zero point six four three inch. So this is the height that will safely support the beam. Now we will check for bending stress. So we know that maximum bending stress for the beam is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i. Clear. 
so now we'll take this area this portion this portion this height is 10 inch width is 2 inch so if i draw it height is 10 inch and width is 2 inch here this is 2 inch and this height is 10 inch so what will be the c neutral axis will be at a half so this will be c c is equal to 10 by 2 which is equal to 5 inch there so maximum movement was 400 4500 into 12 so 4500 into 12 multiply by c which is 5 divided by i i for rectangular is 1 over 12 2 into height is 10 q that is maximum stress so when you calculate it you will get it 1620 psi so you can see this is your maximum stress which is less than allowable stress and that was given as 1700 psi 1700 psi so conclusion is that yes the joist will safely support the load and this was all about problem 11-53 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also do comments whether you like my videos or not thank you for watching